we have a 2005 Audi A8 and we need to do basic settings in the air suspension I'm gonna show you how to properly set up the air suspension and possibly do a modification to the cars with the air ride this thing is a little bit beat up but that doesn't change our functionality so this car has been in the accident we need to reprogram the air suspension sitting all crooked uh, because a bunch of con components of air suspension have been replaced now you have to go to select chassis level control check for error codes blah 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 clear the codes now you have to go on to adaptation oh actually you have to go to security access type in 31564 that's the login see over here it says begin adaptation calibration process 31564 hit do it car accepts it if your car does not accept it because you entered the wrong or anything else you have to turn off the ignition and re reconnect to the module again now you have to go into adaptations and pick channel number one now the car is gonna lower itself and bring it to a normal position or in all roads it's usually position number two so you have to wait for that wait sign to go away and that second this box over here is gonna show uh, front left wheel you have to enter those uh, 416 numbers that's in millimeters from the center of the wheel to the wheel arc to the fender so you're gonna have to enter the distance from the center of the wheel to the wheel arc but first you're gonna have to wait for it to finish the setup to level itself out as soon as you see the second window over here showing left front wheel you could enter the numbers you could measure the distance and enter the numbers this process needs to be done uh, after most of the repairs to the air suspension or any components being changed this process is basically to tell the car that like, it's gonna zero itself out and you have to tell the distances from the center of the wheel to the fenders in order for the car to know it, where it's standing at and then it's gonna recalculate each and every wheel and bring itself up or down uh, it has uh, four level sensors on uh, each corner and that's how it's gonna determine what it needs to do okay so it took probably a couple of minutes for it to level itself out see it says wheel front left it says 416 millimeters we're gonna take our tape measure measure the distance from the center of the wheel to the fender so we've got our metric tape measure so we've got approximately not approximately we've got 400 418 millimeters. So we're gonna put in 418. Quick test. This is valid. Save. Yes. Go to next. Then enter each and every wheel like that. Now we're gonna enter from right wheel. Okay, the front right wheel has a uh, 415 millimeters. 
do the same thing enter save yes go to the next wheel it's rear left our rear left wheel got 406 enter save yes now go to rear right wheel Alright, our rear right wheel have 395 millimeters. Test, yes. Now to save all the data that you just entered, you gotta go to channel number 5 and change that 0 to 1 and save. Then go back. Now the car is gonna level itself out. Now check and see if it's even. Now, after you confirm that the car is sitting even, well this A8 wants to sit a little bit lower in the back. As you remember when the, base, uh, in the adaptation screens, it was asking for, like it was looking for, 416 millimeters in the in the front and uh, 398 millimeters in the back. Right now it's sitting at 416 in the front and 399 400 millimeters in the back. Check the error codes. Nothing. You're all set. Now, with this thing you could do what you could do you could lower the car if you want to bring the car a little bit lower than it is right now we're still gonna exit it do a security login again accept it now we go to adaptations but before you do this you should really make sure that the car is sitting, sitting even or you're gonna confuse yourself. Now we're gonna go to channel number one. See where it says 416 millimeters. That's a normal position for the car being in level number two or whatever it is. Now we're gonna, considering the fact that your car is sitting level right now, right? We're gonna enter the amount it is looking for a little bit higher than it's looking for let's say right now it's looking for 416 millimeters if we want to lower the car by let's say 10 millimeters we're gonna tell it that it's sitting at 426 millimeters well we have to wait for the, for the car to level itself out Okay, we have the car leveled, uh, now we want to lower it, we want to lower it about an inch, which is 20 millimeters, so the base number of uh, 416 millimeters, we're gonna add 20 millimeters to it, to lower it. Make sure your car is level before you do this, or you're gonna throw off the calibration and then you're gonna need to recalibrate it again. Make sure every time you click test, it says valid over here. Now, this thing is a little bit lower in the back, so we're gonna do 20 millimeters in there as well. you're all set now check the height of the car it's gonna go down uh, check the height 
Make sure it's at the proper level. Make sure it's even, or almost even. It's gonna go through the self leveling again, and then you could play around with the adjustments. We'll put her on sport or dynamic mode. It is going down little by little. Well, this is how our A8 looks an inch lower than it was. Take it for a drive. Make sure the car is still even. You are good and set to go.